The ME3 Resurgence Pack is uh, an exciting new DLC pack we're offering to all players at no additional charge. Uh, it adds six new kits, some new races that no one's gotten to play before, uh, three new guns, and a bunch of new equipment. The Hydra map is really unique because it takes place in a location we've never seen in the Mass Effect universe. You're essentially fighting for a gigantic dam in the middle of an Arctic tundra. It's a big open space that offers great gameplay for snipers, infiltrators, and vanguards. So Condor takes place on one of Palavin's moons, and it's a hot spot, and you can actually see Palavin being assaulted in the distance. It's kind of like a hill uh, defense area. If you're at the top of the hill, you'll want like long-range guns because you can see the whole battlefield as the enemies come up. If you're down at the bottom, you'll want assault classes. They can just storm the beach. Tarian Soldier is good close range. We really geared them to be kind of brawlers. My favorite new power is probably the Batarian's Ballistic Blades. It's basically a shotgun on your wrist, which is pretty fantastic. I think my favorite new kit is the Death Infiltrator. His new Hunter Mode power allows him to see through walls which adds a totally new dynamic to the battlefield. When you put on Hunter Mode, it basically reduces your shields down to half. So when using Hunter Mode, you do not want to get in the fray with brutes. The Geth Engineer is super cool class. He's got a new Geth turret power. Uh, it's similar to the Sentry turret power we have, but uh, it actually can heal shields. So anyone who's nearby will have their shields repaired every few seconds, which makes it a really cool defensive power. One of my favorite new powers is the Biotic Sphere that the Asari Justicar gets. Basically, she'll lay a bubble around the squad, and anyone will get a defensive bonus when they're inside of it, so it'll take less damage. But also, any enemies that come inside it will get Biotic effects on them, they'll take more damage. So it's really kind of a, a tactical power. So the new Krogan Battlemaster is the ultimate tank. He's beefier than the uh, existing Krogans. He brings all the things that a standard Vanguard will have, like Biotic Charge, Barrier, but he's a Krogan at heart, so he can Biotic Charge in there, roar, Krogan Rage, Krogan Smash, Headbutt, do all those fun things that a Krogan can do, but now you have the Biotic Charge ability, which covers ground very quickly. All three of the new weapons bring unique gameplay to the table. You have the Krogan Assault Rifle, which basically fires out mini projectiles that explode on contact. The really cool thing about the gun is it has a staggered rate of fire, so it will pick up speed as you hold the button down, getting heavier and heavier. The Geth SMG is essentially a handheld Spitfire, for those of you who are familiar with it from the single player campaign. So imagine running around with a mini Spitfire, pretty cool. Finally, we have the Batarian Sniper Rifle, which is a harpoon gun. The artist put a lot of good touches on it, like the Batarians have multiple eyes, and uh, the scope has like two, two scope areas, which is kind of cool. And it fires a big harpoon, it does a ton of damage, and gets some guys fly. This new DLC content is going to completely change the multiplayer experience, and I can't wait to see you guys online for the challenge.